you're sleeping on yourself and this is why things are not happening for you because you're not keeping your word for yourself. <laughs> my name is Ray welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be talking about how you can make 2024 your year at the moment the energy is high the spirits are up and everybody's feeling really happy and excited for new year everybody's making goals new year new me starting a business so this whatever the vibe is at the moment it's really exciting because everybody is trying to find what they're gonna do for themselves for better you but I don't want that to die out by the end of January so I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few tips you can use to make sure that you stay in this high vibe energy and make sure that you end the year doing something about your life making that vision book from a vision to a reality making your manifestations come true making your goals come true if you're new to my channel please subscribe click the notification bell so you can get notified every time I'm, every time I post it's beautiful over here okay and this this year i'm going to be giving this content back to back okay so you don't want to miss out on that let's get into this video oh, i wrote down a few points so that i don't know forget anything that i want to share with you guys the first thing you're going to do is reflect on your 2023 i need you to take some good time out and sit with yourself and ask okay 2023 did i have any goals did i have any visions am i happy that these things happened like did i do anything towards it ask yourself and if your answer is yes or no you need to dissect why the answer is yes or no what did you do right or what did you do wrong let's say for example your goal 2023 was for you to lose weight you need to ask yourself if let's say for example you didn't make it happen why did it not happen did you take any steps towards making it happen what is it that you can do differently this time around maybe you need to invest in finding um, a personal trainer that can help you learn how to work out at the gym how to do different types of exercises that can help you with your fitness journey maybe you also need to find a nutritionist so that you have somebody who's going to guide you when it comes to your nutrition you need your protein intake all your macros and being able to eat according to your goals and according to your body weight your age and your height and your and your gender or your sex you need to be able to sit down and really dive deeper into what are you gonna do better compared to 2023 compared to last year that is going to stand out and make things happen even better this time around so that you're not that kind of person who's always all oh, new year new me I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then you don't make anything happen because the more you keep not keeping your promises that you make to yourself at the beginning of the year, the cycle is going to continue. Every year that comes around, you're going to keep breaking the promises to yourself because every time you tell, you tell yourself at the new year, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and then you end up not doing it. So in your brain, you're building that distress, that mistress in yourself because you're always lying to yourself and you're always not showing up for yourself. This year, one thing you need to make sure you're doing is showing up for yourself sticking to your word so after you do your reflection you need to sit down with yourself and ask yourself okay what are my goals for this year what are the things i want to achieve for the year 2024 is it starting a business is it fitness like i spoke about before is it um waking up early is it doing better at my job is it making a certain amount of money is it making friends is it finding a partner write down what your goals are and then break 12 with here you can do three months and make that as a year and make sure within those three months you are achieving one of your main goals of the year and then the next three months you also achieve something your main goals of the year i was sitting down myself yesterday and i wrote down everything i'm going to do for the first three months of the year and i'm going to keep myself accountable and this is going to be helpful because you don't have that much time to make these things happen so you're really going to have to push to make this thing happen so for example me the first three months of the year i'm telling i told myself i need to get my permit i need to get my um my content out there being able to post twice a week and i'm trying to lose like around like five to ten pounds the first three months of the year I am going to make it happen and also make sure you're making realistic goals things that you can actually achieve in a short amount uh, in a short period of god I can't speak <laughs> make sure you're making goals that you can actually achieve 
in a short period of time and you can push yourself easily to achieve them okay you need to write down like around five strategies and ask yourself okay what is gonna be the first strategy to be able to reach for me to reach this goal what are you gonna do towards reaching this goal okay your, your number one strategy could be like okay I'm going to make sure I work out every day be it cardio or strength training I'm going to make sure I, I show up give yourself an amount of time I'm going to say five days a week I'm going to make sure I show up five days a week to be able to lose weight besides showing up five days a week what's the next strategy I'm gonna do I'm going to make sure I'm eating according to my body needs so you're going to do some research on how much do I need how many calories do I need to be eating how much protein should I be consuming look up how you know according to how many grams your macros do you need to track how much food you're eating what app are you going to use what website are you going to use do you need to buy a food weighing scale like what is gonna be the things that you're going to do towards reaching that goal instead of just writing it down don't just make a vision board and just sit on it yeah it's nice to make a vision board make a vision board but also make strategies on how you're going to make your whole vision board come to reality don't just make a vision board and then put it somewhere just look at it every day and then just it's, it's just cute it's just a good decoration in your room or in your house you need to actually work towards it every time you look at it remind yourself like okay I'm making this thing happen in this amount of period of time. I'm making this and this happen. Let every time you look at it, remind yourself to do something. Not just look at it like, oh, I wish that could happen. Oh, I would like that to happen. Oh, I, I have a vision board. You spend all that time making a vision board that you're not even doing nothing about it. Embarrassing. Do something. Okay. And when it comes to friendships, you need to sit with yourself and ask yourself, are your current friends fulfilling you are you guys in alignment are you guys like for example you don't want to have the kind of friends who do not uh, motivate you to be a better person they put you down they're jealous of you they envy you they talk shit about you they're not supportive you know when when you're winning they don't want to see you win you don't you need to cut all that off and leave it in 2023 like it's okay we outgrow people not like don't be the kind of person who just want to keep people around just because you don't want to be alone. I'd rather be alone than have people around me and I'm still feeling alone. You feel me? And it's a new year. Like, there's so many people in the world. You can always meet new people. It is not that deep. You're only bringing to a new year friends that are worth it, not those that are not. And it's okay to cut off anybody that's not adding value to your life. It could be friends, it could be partners, it could be also people on your social media that don't really support you. For example, let's say if you have friends from long ago on your Snapchat or your Instagram, or your TikTok, they don't support your, um, your content or whatever, like, you just need to block and delete. You shouldn't keep that energy around because we have all these ghost watchers on Instagram that are just coming into, coming on your page just to ghost watch and see what you're doing so they have something to go back and talk about or laugh at you. They're not liking, they're not commenting, they're not uplifting you. At the end of the day, anyways, we usually have, um, I call, I like to call them internet cousins. People on the internet tend to support you even more than people in your real life are supporting. That goes for dating too. If you have a loser in your life, that is not is toxic is not a good partner they're not really good for you you need to leave like honestly leave you're better on being single than being with a person that is not good for you they don't respect you they you, they step over your boundaries maybe they call you out of your name or whatever the situation might be if you're in a situation like that that needs to 2023 okay it needs to stay right back there in the past okay we going forward we going forward bigger things better things more bread more happiness glow like glow ups and all that that is what i want to hear i don't want to hear oh you're not standing on business like you need to be standing on business this whole year you know anybody that is gonna go oh you you on bullshit you gotta go oh you don't respect me you gotta go like people need to even like people need to know what you're about they need to know like okay this person is not to be played with if i don't act right they're gonna kick me out the last point i have is self-development what are you going to do 
for your self-development this year this can be you of course investing in your fitness and wellness you know get a gym membership or even if not getting a gym membership you can work out from home whatever it is that works within your budget or whatever it is that works for your, your lifestyle is what you should go for you know eating healthy there's a lot of this generation we're so lucky like all the information we need is literally on the internet like everything all the resources are out there for us so is it eating healthy look for healthy recipes chat gpt google TikTok, youtube the information is everywhere like the kind of workouts you can do the kind of foods you can eat that are healthy for you is it that you need to maybe incorporate meditation into your daily routine meditate in the morning once you wake up clear your mind don't just wake up and right away going onto your phone and like looking at social media no like take some time out for yourself for your brain you just woke up what you digest immediately once you wake up can actually mess up your whole day. Let's say you just wake up and you go on the internet and you see somebody commented some negative thing on your page or whatever, your picture, your video. That might ruin your mood and you just woke up. Like when you wake up, you know, just do a little five, ten minutes meditation. Just really calm your mind and then maybe you can get into some journaling too, being able to you know just journal write down how you're feeling in the morning what are, what are your plans for the day what are you gonna do for the day how is your day gonna go like setting intentions for your day oh my day is gonna be good today is a good day i'm grateful for waking up today i'm grateful that i get to see a new day i'm grateful for being able to even exist at this moment in this moment like just being grateful showing gratitude your morning routine plays a big role and go watch my morning routine i, I posted it um I'm gonna post it right now today. And also the other thing you can try this new year if you're a homebody like me, <laughs> cause I am a homebody, is try new hobbies. So me, recently I've been getting into reading. If not, I'm just like listening to audible books. And if audible is expensive, go onto YouTube, type in the book. There's a high chance you're going to find the audio version on YouTube and you can just listen to it and learn something new. Knowledge is power, being able to get into new hobbies, new activities that are fun and exciting. The other thing I'm gonna be trying to get into this year is painting. I'm going to try more painting and I'm going to try to put myself out there more so I can get to meet um, more people, make new friends that can align with who I am, align with my values. And that I feel like that's gonna be exciting. Also, try to spend some time with yourself, spending time with yourself. You can take yourself on a solo date, you can go on a movie day, or anything that is going to be considered fun, anything that is going to be exciting to you and make you happy. Spending time with yourself and just appreciating yourself and being there present with you and yourself. You don't always just wanna be always around people. You also need to be the kind of person who you love your own company. Me personally, I love being on my own. Like, of course, I love being around people like my partner and friends, but I love my own company. Like, I just love to zen out, sitting at home, uh, watching TV, and maybe eating some snacks here and there. Unhealthy or healthy was, depends on my mood or the day. And just, you know, just vibing. This or year, this year is gonna be our year. Anything that is it that you got in your mind, can be brought to reality because you have the power to make it happen don't let nobody tell you or oh, you you you're too delusional like you think you can start the business you don't even have the fans anybody don't let nobody talk negatively because those people are projecting onto you their insecurities because they think they can do it because not even think they know they can't make that thing happen so when they look at you trying to make it happen they're actually envious and jealous because that could never be them and that's on them not your problem okay anything that it is that you want to happen and make happen this year as long as you show up for yourself you put in the work it's going to happen keep this energy on and every time you see yourself falling off you need to push yourself and remind yourself i said i'm gonna do this for myself this year i'm gonna do this oh i can't be falling off when you see of course i understand sometimes you have down days where you need time out take that time out but don't fall into the same loop of oh in the same loop of always being like oh i can't do it today i'll do it tomorrow no because you're never gonna do it if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe click the notification bell 
you need to be notified every time I post, okay? You don't want to miss these videos. I'm going to be posting twice a week, which is going to be Sundays and Wednesdays. Please tune in. I appreciate you guys that are already here. I really appreciate your love and support. I appreciate you guys watching and giving a thumbs up. Please comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are and let's please share. And we can also share some ideas how we're going to make things happen for ourselves this year and what we're going to do better for ourselves this year to make it the best year ever of our lives so yeah that's all i have for this video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>